previously. God, I'm dumb. And so we go. Hello, friends, my name's Nerdy, and welcome back to Professor Layton and the Curious Village. I got a blanket since the last episode I recorded. I'm basically just doing a marathon of this because I'm having so much fun solving these puzzles. Even the ones that I don't like. I really like solving puzzles. This, these games are right up my alley. Um, but, like, the left side of my butt's cold, but the right side isn't. And now my body's just confused. I think it has something to do with this window. But we're going to go ahead and go. <sighs> to the Ferris wheel. Away. This must be the Ferris wheel we were looking for. Rick, why don't you look around and see if anything seems odd about it? Sure thing, Professor. Hmm. Hmm. Did you find anything out of the ordinary, Luke? No, not a thing. Maybe there's no secret hidden in this Ferris wheel after all. That remains to be seen. Let's look around a bit more, shall we? So, in the end, the ticket we picked up turned out to be meaningless? So it seems. I suppose my intuition failed us this time, Luke. Come on, let's head back to the heart of St. Mysterio and look for our next lead. Well. Um. Being chased by a Ferris wheel. Well, there's trash in the lake now. Splash. <laughs> Why would the Ferris will? Professor, look at what happened to the shed. The first one must have simply destroyed it. If we made a wrong step back there, we'd be rubble too. Oh my. Hmm. I think I found something here, Professor. What could that be? Now that's an entrance. What's an entrance to the sewers doing here? This could well be an underground passage to the tower. Gotta take a look below. Come. I'm right behind you, Professor. Hold up. I want to go back to where the first wall was. <clears throat> is this the time for a puzzle? The poor Ferris wheel is totally destroyed now. That reminds me, look, have you heard this wonderful puzzle about the Ferris wheel? It is not the time for this, Leighton. <laughs> you almost died. There are ten two-seater cars attached to the Ferris Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel turns so that one car rotates through the exit platform every minute. The wheel began to operate at ten in the morning and shut down thirty minutes later. What's the maximum number of people that could have taken a ride on the wheel in that time period? Um, so there's 10 cars, and they have to be able to get off of it. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and that's 10 minutes. So, 40, because everybody's got to get off. <clears throat> Might be 60. I'm so embarrassed. Okay. Sorry. 
I'm allergic to stupid solutions. <sighs> All right. So we'll just figure out how many times the car goes around and then multiply it by two because it's a two-seater. So this goes one, two. Wait, hold on. I'm going to do it backwards because I'm... My, in my brain, it's rotating this way. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then that would be there. That means this one would be the next one. So, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. So let's try sixty. I assume they have to get off the car too. You know what? It's probably like fifty six. <coughs> You may think all you have to do is add a few things up, but there's a trick to this problem that's easy to overlook. Think about the way the Ferris wheels have to work. If two people catch the first ride of the day, how much time will pass before they get off the ride? Well, yeah. Ten minutes. They'll be on there for ten minutes. So if someone catches this car, they come back ten minutes later. I get that. I understand. The wheel has to stop promptly at 10.30. Then the operator won't allow anyone on who can't get off the Ferris wheel by 10.30. Oh, so what does that mean? It means that when two passengers step out of their gondola at 10.30, all the other gondolas on the Ferris wheel should be empty as well. Right. Right. So... Okay. Okay. I, I'm all right so it takes 10 minutes to ride so this car will come back 10 minutes later that would be 10 10 right I have to be off by 10 30 that's really bad 10 10 10. 20, and they have to be cut off at 10.30. They have to be off the car by 10.30. So... It's 10.01, 10.02, 10.03, 10.04, 10.05, 10.06, 10.07, 10.08, 10.09, 10.10. And then... Ten eleven, ten twelve, ten thirteen, ten fourteen, ten fifteen. Ten sixteen, ten seventeen, ten eighteen, ten nineteen, ten twenty. So I'll ask her to let anyone on. Ten twenty. So forty two. Because <clears throat> they can let someone on that card, it'll go all the way around. <sighs> 
that's it. Okay. Now my cat wants in, now that I've freaking called him. Okay, I'm gonna go let my cat in. I'll cut this out, I promise. Okay. I'm sorry. My cat is such an asshole sometimes. Uh, okay. Excellent job, my boy. Ooh, another painting scrap. Okay. Go ahead and put that in. Oh, and a new journal entry. Whoa. Moments after we arrived at the northernmost section of town, a girl appeared before us. From her expression, it was clear that she had a message for us. But something in the shadows frightened her off before she could say anything. She did, however, leave behind a clue, namely a single ticket to the town Ferris wheel. Spurred by the Ferris wheel ticket, the young girl left behind. Luke and I tried to gain access to the park, but its gate was locked shut. Perhaps the man from Town Hall, Rodney, could help us get the gate open. It seems that the only person who can get us into the park is the park caretaker. Now, if only we can find a man. Roddy mentioned that the caretaker had the additional duty of looking after the town sewer system. Maybe the caretaker is below ground today? It took a trip into the sewers to do it, but we finally succeeded in locating the park caretaker. He was quite pleasant to deal with and consented to open the park for us after we helped him with a small plumbing problem. Now that the gate is finally open, we can set about exploring the town park. The silence of the park was so unnatural, it was hard to believe that this was ever a place of recreation. All existing structures are disordered, or in this case, of one small shack, bolted, bolted shut. If there is useful information to be found here, I don't see it yet, but I believe the Ferris wheel warrants a look. Luke and I searched every crevice of the Ferris wheel, but it failed to yield any information about the golden apple. What's more, it inexplicably broke free from its port and chased us around the park like some oversized wagon wheel. We were lucky enough to escape with our lives, but the small shack to the north was completely decimated by that runaway will. At least now I can see what lies beneath the shack. Could it be an underground tunnel into the tower? Okay. And then we got the inn with some new stuff. Okay. It's just... Uh, what else did I give you? Violin? Okay. He likes the violin. I thought so. <laughs> well, I don't really know what to do for you. You guys have to have weird stuff in your room. I'm sorry. Hey! We're almost done. Whoops. There we go. No, that's not what I wanted. Go back. I've almost got this painting solved. Eh. Okay. I think I have two, maybe three pieces left, and then I'll have it. We'll see. Alright. Hey, hit coin. Gimme. Give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Thank you. Any ah, bye bye. Uh, I was looking forward to riding the Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel tried to ride you, so there's that. Hey, I was getting there, you dick. Mm, all right. Well. Hey, did you see anything about the? F Where did he go? It's gone. Okay. I guess I'm going down. It's going down for real. Hope I don't trip. This place is pitch black. 
Brr, and it's cold too. Watch your step, Luke. Look for anything suspicious or out of place. This is pretty suspicious and out of place. Look, there's a sort of stone tablet embedded in the wall. So it's clearly some kind of puzzle. I'll wager the solution will tell us which direction to proceed. Puzzle 89. Where 30 picker outs. The path you are on forks to the left and right in front of the sign seen below. Your gut feeling tells you that the sign reveals the direction you need to go. Find an arrow within the picture like the yellow one on the right side of the board when you find it draw a line around it as neatly as possible keep in mind that the arrow you're searching for may not be the same size as the one picture below so i just need to find an arrow that's relatively easy okay i'm really good at some uh <clears throat> some uh highlights hidden pictures all right let's see here. It's as close as I can get. Luke, here's my answer. Is not that one. Oh. <coughs> Maybe I just didn't trace it neatly enough. <coughs> Alright, let's try this again. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. We'll do this. Nope, I went too far. This is impossible with a mouse. I was going so well. All right, let's do this first I don't think it's going to accept that <clears throat> maybe that's not even the right one but I think that's the only arrow as far as I can see That's what I got for you. Take it or leave it. Luke, here's my answer. Uh, I suppose I got wrong. Okay. Maybe that's not the arrow I'm looking for. Do I see any other arrows in here? I see a cut off arrow. It doesn't really help me at all. Is that one? No, that's not quite it either. Mm. 
Wait, is that it? Oh. 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 It points the same direction, though. Why does it matter? Someone is making banging noises. It's not in my house, I don't think. Well done. Now you can move forward. There's our answer. We will proceed down the left corridor. Understood, Professor. Artisan's teapot. Definitely Layton. Okay. Hint coin. I mean, where else are we going to go? Is there another corridor the other way? Like. Hey, okay. I think I'm happy with what I've got. Let's try right here. And nope. Okay. Well, let's go. Ooh. That's a uh, ominous. All right. Hold on. No more hint coins. No more puzzles. I guess let's go this way. <coughs> Look, Professor, there's a strange device on the door here. It seems to be a puzzle of some sort. I imagine the door won't open until we solve it. It's almost like we're being tested, isn't it? I guess. Puzzle 90. Get the... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Why do you freaking hate me? All right. I gotta move this up so I can move this up. Hmm. How do I... Hold on. Okay. No, because I can't. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Holy crap. Oh, that didn't take super long, thank goodness. Fantastic. Easier than it looks, isn't it? If you haven't done it yet, why not try to complete the puzzle in a minimum number of moves? How about I don't? That should do the trick. I mean, I will only get better if I try. Don't misunderstand me. I know this. But I just... No, thank you. I don't really like those puzzles one bit. Mm. Sliding puzzles just aren't my thing. All right. Teapot. All right. Yep. I almost got it all. Got one more piece. One more. Okay. I guess let's go through the door. <sighs> wow, I certainly didn't expect a room down here. Let's give it a thorough once over. Something isn't right about this place. I feel it in my bones.
I bet the cabinets. Have something to do with this. Hmm. Pseudo passage. Something's hidden behind here. All right, let's move the picture out of the way then. What's this here? A key? It appears to be some sort of key. But what does it unlock? We won't know until we investigate further, but the shape certainly looks familiar. Professor, could this be? It looks just like the tower. I knew there was something odd about that dead end. Perhaps this key will shed some light on things. Luke, we need to head back to that large wall on the north side of St. Mysterio. I have a hunch that it's more than just a dead end. Tower key was added to your list of mysteries. Oh, I have a feeling I'm almost through this. Nothing else here? Okay. Oh. Hey, hint coin. Okay. Journal entry? Yep. We found a key! Who would imagine that this tiny shack held the entrance to an underground tunnel in a quaint storage room? More unexpected still was our discovery of a small key shaped like the tower itself. Could this odd little key truly unlock a path to the tower? I believe it will. Deep underground on the edge of town, the professor and Luke found an unusual key shaped like the tower. While the connection between the key and the tower seems certain, no one can figure out where to use the key or what it unlocks. Alright, back we go. <clears throat> let's go investigate that dead end right away. Alright, Luke, but first let's make a quick stalk by the end. There's something I need to check on there. Why the end, Professor? Seems that someone doesn't want us around, Luke. Someone is, in fact, after us. And the key to identifying this scoundrel is back at the end. So you already have an idea about who's behind this. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? Someone's been obstructing the investigation. Find the troublemaker and continue to work on the case. Save your progress? Okay. I believe I have now solved over 100. 106. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, a new puzzle for me? No? Hmm. All out of puzzles. So sad. Alright. Beatrice. What can you tell me? Hello, Professor. Is something the matter? You look a little shaken. Beatrice, I have an urgent request. Could you show me the newspapers from the last couple of days? The papers? Certainly. Come on for a moment while I go fetch them for you. That's strange. I'm sure I set them down around here somewhere. Is there a problem? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I can't seem to find them anywhere. Even today's morning paper seems to have gone missing. Hmm... I see. Well, thank you just the same, Beatrice. This has been most helpful. Just what was on those papers anyway, Professor? yoo -hoo, Professor Layton. Raymond, and to what do we owe the visit? Oh, he told me I needed to find you and bring you back to Reinhold Manor. The inspector, I mean. <laughs> he and Lady Dahlia await your arrival at Reinhold Manor. Thank you for the message. We'll set out for the manor in just a few moments. Okay, back to Reinhold Manor, I guess. Uh, Bill Dodging Ruffian. That Bill Dodging Ruffian. I know I need to go to the manor, but I want to go unlock the tower first. Can I do that? Can, can I, please? Boom, boom, ba -da -boom. I don't want to talk to you at all. Ah. Uh. Of course. Luke keeps pushing for us to proceed straight to the dead end by the tower, but before we do, I have a suspicion of my own that I feel the need to confirm. Before we go anywhere else, I think it's best we stop by the end. I think we may be able to identify the person that has been watching us all this time. 
In order to confirm my hunch, I asked Beatrice to loan me the last few days worth of newspapers, but it seems that someone has made off with the whole stack. These papers would have been the decisive proof needed to confirm my suspicions, but I'll have to go on without them. I'd like to continue searching for the papers, but the inspector has some of us, so now I have to give up on that. I have to give up on that for now. Well, I guess I'm gonna go get summoned. Do you have a new puzzle for me, woman? Sorry, dearie, but I don't have any more puzzles for you right now. Why not stick around for a chat? I'm just sorry, madam. I think we better be moving. That woman is so strange. So very strange. Oh, I'm so far north. I don't want your veal or your veals. I don't want your veal. Okay. Now let's go this way. You found the key to the tower, haven't you? How do you know about the key? doesn't interfere with the tower. Whatever you do, just stay away from there. Interfere? What do you mean by that, dear? Yep. Okay, shut up. I don't care. Raymond, my friend. How you feeling? If it is Professor Layton, judging by your expression, it seems you haven't found the golden apple. You look terribly tense, Professor. Perhaps a small puzzle will help. <laughs> Loosen you up. Who? 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 Over the river. Oh, not again. Help stash and scarf and move the wolf, sheep, and cabbage from one side of the river to the other while obeying the following rules. In addition to its captain, the rat can only support one animal or item at a time. When Statchen Shraffin isn't near, the wolf will eat the sheep and you'll have to start over. The sheep will eat the cabbage when Statchen Shraffin is around. If you let the sheep have its way, you'll have to start over. You can shuffle the raft back and forth as many times as you like, but the shortest solution takes seven moves. Okay. Yep. I know how to do this. Okay. And then the cabbage. These are really easy. I've been doing these since elementary. Critical thinking is the key to success. Critical thinking is the key to success. That was masterful, but I expected nothing less from the great Professor Layton. <laughs> is that the last scrap? Oh my goodness, hold on. I want to talk to you one more time to see if you have another puzzle, but I want to put that scrap in before I finish this recording. Okay. I hope this is the last one. I'm going to be so excited. Yes. Oh, nope. Moving other pieces. No. I fucked up. Yes. This painting is truly brilliant. And let's go on my wall. By the way, Luke, I have a present for you to mark this occasion. Turn off your Nintendo DS once and then restart the game. At the title screen, select bonuses, and you should have a new challenge for me. Now, I know you're excited about your present, but be sure to save before you restart your DS. Layton's challenges, the art lover's house has been added to your map. Hell yeah. We're going to probably do that before we continue on with the story, because, you know, why not? So, oh, there's another hint coin. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end that episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Good night, signing out. Goodbye.